good morning everyone in all honesty it is not the morning it is around 1 p.m i was not supposed to continue vlogging for the day i actually wrapped up another vlog this morning and i was thinking i am not going to vlog for the rest of the day because i have a lot of things that i need to get done uh, but then I've decided tomorrow to go to H&M and I have few H&M items that arrived um, during the weekend So I want to show you guys those items because a couple of them sadly Maybe more than a couple are supposed to go back. So I was like, let me start off a new vlog um, So I can show you guys those items because they are very cute products But sadly the sizing didn't work out for me. So I, they have to go back um, but I want to show you guys the items before um, basically going into the store and returning them. That's the reason I'm starting the vlog literally at 1 p.m. Um, so let me show you guys what I got from um, H&M. There's not that many products, um, but I was very hopeful and this shipment took forever. I think it took five weeks for it to arrive. I am hoping the items that I purchased are still available um, because there are items here that I personally would want to repurchase the correct size of and um, obviously there's going to be items that I'm sure most of you guys will love it as well because I have noticed whatever I buy from H&M, most of you guys like it as well, which makes me very, very happy it makes me very happy that we are all this one happy family that we all have the same taste in fashion and beauty my haul today is not going to be as exciting as all the previous times because there is very few products and most of the products didn't fit me or i was so so about it so let's get into the package so i can show you guys what i got before starting my H&M haul, let me show you guys my OOTD for the day. This is the OOTD for half of the day because in the morning I was wearing something else. Um, so I'm wearing this white shirt from um, ASOS. I think this is River Island if I'm not mistaken. And my necklace is Miss Lola. Probably I'm wrong. This is ASOS own brand. If it's still available, I'll link it for you guys because I got this few um, months ago. And my pants are my um, Target ones that I have been absolutely loving. I got it in every single color and I am obsessed with them. And I am wearing my very bougie and cute white and nude um, slippers from Amazon. These are the softest things ever. I don't know how anyone goes through winter and fall without wearing slippers like this. They're just fabulous. I'm wearing my new Chanel earring that probably you guys saw in my previous vlog and my Van Cleef inspired ring and all my Amazon rings. So here's my OOTD and now we're gonna get into my H&M products that are all piled up there. If I sound extremely excited about life, it's because of this. I'm too caffeinated. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start off our haul. The first thing that I got that I haven't even taken out of the package is this gold hair clip. Um, is this attached to it? Yeah, I have to bring his scissor to take it out. So here it is. It's a very cute gold hair clip. Um, these clips are very in and I feel like with my short hair, this will be a great accessory either to clip my hair back or do this vice versa pony that they're doing um i remember i used to do that a lot when i was younger back in iran when i was going to high school that was my favorite hairstyle to do even though we used to wear hijab so no one could see our hair uh, but um underneath my hijab because my hair would get tangled here i would always like clip it like this and put it high up um so it give a beautiful like shape to my scarf as well um yeah, we weren't wearing like the closed hijabs, but we had a scarf around our um, face, basically. We would cover our hair. I don't know why am I trying so hard to explain something. Um, so yeah, the first accessory that I got is this. And then we have this very beautiful boot that broke my heart because they didn't fit me. Like their color is perfection. The, the height of the heel is perfection um the fact that it's a block heel it's a perfection it's such a beautiful beautiful thigh high boot but sadly this was very small on me it came all the way up until my knee basically um i'm very very upset that i have to return this because it was such a good price um does it have a price on this it doesn't 
but compared to how expensive thigh high boots go for this was not as expensive but sadly it didn't fit me i got it in a size nine and a half but still didn't fit me and sadly i have to return it i was so excited about this this entire purchase was because of this one boot um and then i got this jacket um i will obviously insert the picture of the models wearing them because holding it up will not do it justice it's like this wool material is that what it's called wool material i don't know why am i reading this there is no useful information besides the barcode and the size of it i got it in a size large and it's a little bit oversized but i feel like it's a little bit too oversized i mean my outfit underneath is not nice but like i won't wear a shirt with a shirt but this is how basically it looks again these are very much in right now and this one compared to the all the other ones that i saw at zara or bloomingdale's or nordstrom this was the um, most reasonably priced one and obviously we all know how much i love the color um the next item that i don't know why i got two of the same item literally i got the same item twice probably it was in my cart and i didn't realize and i both of them are the same size are they the same size yeah this is a large this is a large as well um we all know how much i love statement sleeve so this is this statement sleeve sweater uh with like a cable knit design it gives the look of a thick sweater but it is actually not it's very like lightweight and it has very much of a statement sleeve which we all know how much i absolutely love 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 this seems like a crop top it's not too long but it's not crop either so i got that that one is a sting and i'm very happy with it then i have this jacket which is staying as well because i am obsessed with this and i wear a lot of cardigans during um fall specifically because la weather is um cold in the morning cold at night midday it's like a hot summer day so i absolutely love wearing this i wear this during spring as well um so i got this um i just love it it's such a good quality and like soft one very cozy looking i got that in a size large as well i had a lot of high hopes for this top but i absolutely hate the quality of it it has like a um, diagonal like neckline and it is long sleeve but it's a horrible quality it's like literally i think plastic so this is just going back because i really hated the quality of it and i'm not gonna wear it um the next items are these sweatpants and this sweater set how beautiful is this color like my color so the only reason this is going back what does it say 100 percent organic cotton no wonder they're so soft um the only reason this is going back it's a little bit too big on me i got this one in a size large the top is a size large and the bottom is a size extra large if i'm not mistaken yeah it's an extra large but these are too big on me but it's so comfortable it's one of the sweaters that has the elastic on the ankle as well these are items that i so badly want to repurchase it again in a smaller size and i'm really hoping they're not sold out because this color is perfection like this is my favorite color literally it's a neutral color and it is super soft so i'm impatiently waiting for their website to be up so i can check and see if they have it and my last item is this very cute um, green dress um, it's a satin dress um, it's almost maxi on me to be honest with you guys because i'm so short but it has a high neck it is long sleeve it's a very very beautiful design i saw lydia wearing the beige one and i was like i have too many beige ones let me just get the green one um so i put in a purchase for this i am absolutely in love with this i don't know when am i gonna wear this and one of what occasion i'm gonna wear this but i'm sure i'll get the use out of it these are everything that i got from h&m um i i think a few vlogs ago i showed you guys other items it was all mostly leather pants and leather skirts i still haven't returned those i still have them in my car a few days ago I was supposed to go um but when i got there the line was so long that i was like just forget about it i left i'm hoping the 30 days hasn't passed yet because i think the return policy is 30 days 
um, so now that I have this order as well I'm just gonna go and return both of them at the same time probably tomorrow and um, I want to sit down today and write down a blog post I have two major blog posts that I have in mind that I can't wait to post uh, one of them is what am I purchasing from Sephora Cell on October 30th the um, Sephora Cell starts for Rouge members and it goes all the way for a week um, so I'm gonna write that blog post because there are a lot of products that I'm gonna repurchase um, if by the time you guys are watching this vlog which probably it will be up I'll link it for guys in the description box below make sure you take advantage of this sale because some of the items never go on sale for example perfumes they're very expensive so it's a great opportunity to buy a um, few items that you want or you repurchase um, at a discounted price um, and another very exciting blog post that I'm working on is advent calendar I am a huge fan of advent calendars this year I got my first ever advent calendar um, which was from my favorite brand LMS which I think I showed you to you guys in my previous vlog um, so when I posted a lot of people were like oh my god I'm so into advent calendar so I was like let me just write a a blog post on all the advent calendars this year and not only expensive was there's so many affordable ones which i had no idea they're all like below hundred dollar there's some for kids there's some for like grandma and grandpa there's some for the wine lover there's some for like food there's so many good ones that are like below hundred dollar or below fifty dollar that i feel like they're perfect gifts and even if you want to buy for your family members I feel like it's a very cute ritual to go through i can't wait uh, for my future family and my kids so we can open up uh, like we all have our own advent calendar and every day we can open it up together it's just such a fun thing to do even if it's as small as a chocolate advent calendar uh, although some of the chocolate calendars are very expensive i didn't expect them to be that expensive but some of them are very expensive but there's some affordable ones too but yeah i can't wait for my future family to have that ritual um we have a lot of rituals um in my family right now like with my parents and my with my sisters um but i feel like doing it with my own family like my husband and my kids it would be a different feeling um so yeah i'm gonna go write those blog posts and hopefully i can finish them today because i learned to how to do my own graphic design but i'm very slow at it um, it still takes me a lot of time to um, edit. Hopefully I can finish it up by today so I can schedule it for the weekend so they can go up as soon as possible because I know a lot of people have already started um, their Christmas shopping, which is insane. We are still in October. Um, but I know a lot of the items will go on sale and I feel like this year it will be very different compared to all the other years. Um, I don't even know what are we allowed to do, what are we not allowed to do. So I am going to clean up my mess and get to work basically. I look into your eyes, I see we're out of time. I guess no one's to blame, nobody crossed the line. I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel. Good morning everyone, happy Friday. I just took a shower, one of those very long and very detailed showers that you exfoliate, you wash your hair, you do a hair mask, you do a face mask and all of that. I have actually tried a new um, hair serum from L'Oreal. It's not a hair serum, I think it's a hair mask. Let me grab it, it's in the shower. I don't even know what it is it's uh it's called eight second wonder water hair transformating lemon i don't know how to say it basically this is what i tried i have seen this um target's website many many times and a few days ago where did i see this i think i saw ad of it on pinterest and i was like you know what i'm just gonna try it out 
As you all know, I'm not the biggest fan of drugstore products when it comes to hair. Let me tell you this, as soon as you put it in your hair, it says 8 seconds. I don't think that's realistic because by the time I coat in my entire hair, it's more than 8 seconds. So I don't know if that's very realistic, but I had it on for probably like a minute, minute and a half, like massaging it in. And as soon as you put it in, your hair literally feels like baby soft. And the good thing about it is that it says no silicone and no weight down. It has shines and sil like it makes your hair silky. So this is, oh my God, I used too much of it. So, <laughs> uh, okay. So I didn't even see this, but it has like a 20 mil, 20 mil part, like um, portions on it written on the side. So it says basically for um, one dose for fine and medium texture, which is like basically my hair. So I was supposed to only use this much of it and I used triple that amount. So yeah, I used a little bit too much, but sorry, it's my phone. I was supposed to use it until here. I used up to here. I honestly haven't noticed that's how much I used but anyway <laughs> that would have been great if I read the instruction I mean I read it but the instruction on the box and it says to be honest with you while I was putting this on in my on my head I was like how would I know what the dosage amount is so dosage amount is here because in the box it says like the same thing for like a fine hair use um, like one dose but I was like how much is one dose interesting i should have read that but anyway i'm very happy with the results so far my hair is very smooth i didn't do more olaplex number three last night because i wanted to try this i didn't do my oil either my hair by the way smells amazing i don't know if it's this i mean i use my regular shampoo and conditioner and this says you have to use a conditioner afterwards as well and blow dry your hair i feel like it's kind of a product that it locks it in when you blow dry your hair like with heat it gets activated or something like that I'm assuming I'm not sure so do not quote me on that but it says blow dry your hair basically so that's what I'm gonna do I exfoliated my entire body and so I'm gonna apply a new layer of tan probably for most of the day I'm gonna have a no makeup situation happening because I am going out tonight so probably I'll put my makeup on towards afternoon it is too early to put my makeup on now because we're leaving um, around 7 or 6, I'm not sure. I think 7. But for the morning portion of the day, we're going to do hair, tan. And I didn't vlog yesterday because Thursdays are just an insane day for me, like work-wise. And then Thursdays are our family day. So my entire cousins and stuff come over. So it's like a crazy busy day. So I was not able to vlog. Uh, but I managed to go to H&M on Wednesday afternoon, which I don't think I took you guys with me. So I went to the store and returned items that I wanted to return and bought a couple of items. I'm going to show you guys those as well. So without further ado, because I have a little bit of work things to do as well and I don't want to be sitting here for the rest of the day. I am going to blow dry my hair then apply my fake tan. Probably I'm going to do only purity today and not the express mousse because uh, probably I'm going to wear white and I don't have time to rinse it off and I love the purity line because they don't transfer, you don't need to shower, they don't smell bad. Absolutely love, love, love the purity line. So I'm going to just do that. My tan is obviously a little bit lighter when I do purity on my legs because it's not as intense but I really don't mind it. Um, it's a very gloomy day and probably I'm not going to show that much skin. Um, so it's totally fine. As long as I have a little bit of glow and a little bit of color on me, I'm the happiest girl. So that's what we're going to do. I have decided to return my Dyson and purchase the new one from Sephora with 20% off. Because it's a very, very expensive product. Obviously worth it to use 20% off. Why not? So yeah, after my very long rant, let's get into blow drying this hair so I can tell you guys how it feels after using this. I look into your eyes, I see we're out of time. 
I guess no one's to blame. Nobody crossed the line. So I just finished up blow drying my hair. I honestly didn't do a like detailed job because probably I'm gonna curl my hair this afternoon. Um, so I just wanted to basically blow dry to an extent that I can just apply my fake tan. Um, so I just quickly went through it with the run brush. Um, but it is definitely, definitely softer than it always is. Um, by the way, please ignore my dressing gown. I'm actually putting a uh, washing and like couple of hours of all my whites and stained products so just ignore my um yeah stains on my dressing gown um so yeah um it is definitely smoother like 100 percent smoother if you guys can notice i have even just a little bit of a less of a freeze compared to all the other times like it's definitely silkier i'm gonna curl it a little bit in the afternoon because i've been loving my short hair again yes i'm not gonna talk about my hair anymore because i know it's a boring subject but i don't know what to do i just want my own natural hair to be healthy and even if it's short it's fine but i want them to be healthy and i want them to get a little bit longer basically so i don't want to rely on extensions uh, but what i will do even with my short hair i will still put in a couple of extensions in the front uh, because this broken pieces and these layers are not my favorite thing so i'll put in a couple of extensions in the front just so i can level this up basically i am gonna get dressed apply my tan before getting dressed and then um, do my laundry then I'll show you guys what I got from H&M while I was in the store this bag might look big but there's not that many product inside so we're gonna get through this so do you guys remember a few vlogs ago I was telling you guys or maybe it was on my Instagram I don't remember but I was talking about uh, a classic H&M jacket that I've been trying to hunt for literally four months not four months like three months I think they brought it out in late june or july so i've been trying to get a hold of this jacket literally ever since then it's always sold out in my size and even the size that i got is not my size but because we can try it um, in the store so i was like let me just get it and take it home and try it on and sadly it is big on me so we have the classicest fall coat ever which is this very bougie um brown one and sadly it's because it's big on me it doesn't sit nicely like the shoulders are not perfectly aligned but how beautiful is this you guys can see it it's all the way like midi all the way long very good material really good fabric and only for i think 70 bucks or 60 bucks 59.99 or 69 i think 59.99 these coats go for $200, $300. I cannot tell you guys how many times I've tried to find one that is size, for example, like small all the way to size 2X because I have both audience and I want to introduce products that they have all sizes, not only focused on plus size or not only focused on um, regular size because I have both audience. So I'm trying to cater to everyone and that's why I always try to focus on products that they have all the sizes. and those brands are my favorite kind of brand that they don't discriminate that only a si certain size can wear a certain item so anyway long story short i've tried to find this coat um in a brand that comes in all sizes and unfortunately i was not able to and h&m was the only place they have i think three more colors they have a black they have a gray they have this like I don't know what color is it like a muted milky white so they have beautiful colors but this color specifically obviously is a classic and sadly they're sold out everywhere they had it in a store size medium size large honestly i could have gone with a size medium i don't know why i went with extra large i wish they had um the um i wish i picked up both basically uh, i'm gonna go to action and probably tomorrow and if they have a medium i'll purchase the medium <laughs> it might be a little bit small but we're gonna try it out so this is my first item um then i picked this up which i didn't see this online i tried to find it but i was not able to if by the time this video is up i was able to find it i'll link it for you guys it's basically a shirt 
I'm giving you a mini try on as well. It's basically a shirt. I picked the color, not the color, I picked the size medium because I wanted it to be, um, I wanted to be able to wear it as just an open shirt. Obviously, I won't wear this together. They don't go together, but I'm just trying it on for you so you have an idea in case I was not able to find these products online. Um, yeah, I went with the size medium because it has an oversized look, but I didn't want it to be too oversized so I can't wear it as an actual button-down shirt. So it has this very cute details of a pearl that I'm obsessed with and you guys already know um it's very cute it has like this classic buttons here so i wanted to be able to wear it as like a cardigan like an open shirt what is that called i believe you guys know what i mean like this basically and i wanted to be able to wear it like as a button down as well so that's why i went with the size medium and very happy with it if you're not gonna wear it as a button down i would say go true to size but if you're gonna wear it as a button down, just the size down in it. And then I bought, again, with the theme of pearl, I bought this jumper. I couldn't pass up on it. I saw another one that had a chain on it, like sewed in chain. I was like, I can easily create that with a necklace. So I went with this one. Again, it has uh, pearls on it. It's super cute. And it's basically a regular jumper with a little bit of a balloon sleeve effect just a little bit not too much this is how it sits it's super soft like super soft like love it and the last item is this dress that my mom found it actually for me um, in this sell section 22 dollars and it used to be 60 bucks so it's very cute lace style dress and it has the most beautiful like wrist buttons can you guys see like it's all pearls it doesn't have any damage as far as i've seen obviously i have to wear a slip dress underneath um it doesn't come with a slip dress but i'm sure that's totally fine i can find one as i said as far as i've seen it doesn't have any damages on it and it sits beautifully it hits right above the knee like yeah it hits right above the knee and it's so so beautiful this is in a size large uh, and because it doesn't have a stretch so it fits like perfectly so I am absolutely in love with this I don't think I'll be able to find this online because I think this is from their summer collection since it was already on sale is this ripped on oh, no, the design and that is everything that I got from my channel basically they had so many cute items in stock but I was like holding back because I shop from there a lot and it's not even sweater weather yet and I already have like 20 sweaters in line to be worn and i'm sure um in the future weeks they're gonna get new stock items in their store and i'm gonna want to buy all of that so i hold myself back and only bought items that i thought i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them i can't wait to go back into the store and try to find the brown jacket in a size medium uh or large i'm hoping they're gonna have it I am pretty hungry now, so I'm gonna go probably make my avocado salad. I think I have a recipe up for it, so I'll link it for you guys in the description box below. It's nothing complicated, super easy to make. So I'm gonna go make that because I'm hungry, but I'm not too hungry. And then since I'm going out tonight, I don't wanna eat like heavy food. So I'm gonna go make my avocado salad, have that while I'm working because I have a little bit of work things to do. I'm actually doing a giveaway. So the day probably that you guys are watching this vlog, um, the giveaway is still running. Yeah, because the giveaway will run next week and you guys will see this next week. So I will link my Instagram for you guys in the description box below. It's a thousand dollar giveaway with all of my favorite bloggers. We partnered up together to give you guys thousand dollar cash. So make sure you enter it. I'm gonna put every detail in the description box below. Wonder, we were always gonna last. Yeah, I do remember tears and the laughter. How could we fall so fast?
be on our separate ways as we fade into gray. But I still miss the way, the way you used to feel. Maybe we rose too fast, maybe we got. To I just finished up work for the day. It took me forever, but I'm so happy I got so much done. I only was supposed to do a little bit of more editing, but I didn't get a chance to such a gloomy day <laughs> remember a few weeks ago i was telling you guys that um i'm a tired of sun and i want like gloomy cozy days and now here i am today i'm like it's so gloomy and sad looking <laughs> you can't win it with me apparently with the weather you know i like gloomy weathers but like for two to three hours a day i'm just generally a person who loves the sunshine but i just wanted a little bit of cozy day you know i would like the weather to be cold but sunny not that anyone asked me but that's my favorite kind of uh weather basically um poured myself a cup of coffee i already had a little bit of it and i'm gonna go get dressed and do my makeup because i thought we we're gonna go at seven but apparently we we're supposed to be there at six so we're gonna go get ready together i'm very very sleepy so i'm gonna finish this and probably i'm gonna drink a red bull too because I'm exhausted today but we're gonna do our makeup i'm gonna do something very simple and then i'll show you guys my ott as well so let's go get ready come on now come on won't you come with me time to let it go and be free won't you come and breathe the open skies come now come listen to the melody slow it down put yourself at ease time to live it live get away from the do and do I'm finally ready I added in let me put my bag down um, I added in just one piece of extension here the color doesn't match perfectly but I kind of like it I love that the front is like pretty long I would want my natural hair to be like this full in the front I know visual thinking but that's what we're working towards oh I didn't put an earring I'll put it after I record this I'll put a little hoop earring but here's my OOTD I'm wearing mostly H&M the top is H&M pants are H&M belt is ASOS and I am wearing my Stuart's I don't know how to say that brand and my Miss Lola bag so I'm gonna love you and leave you thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you guys in my next video bye